Hi, I'm Lindsay with StarfireDirect.com. With so many options available for igniting your gas fire pit, we wanted to go over a few of those options and give you a quick crash course discussing some of the pros and cons of each one so that you can make a better purchasing decision for your fire pit project. The first and most common fire pit ignition type is what we call a matchlit ignition. To ignite a matchlit fire pit, simply hold a long match or long necked butane lighter over your fire pit burner. Then slowly turn the valve towards the on position. Gas will flow out of your fire pit burner and be lit by the flame from the match or the butane lighter. To shut the fire pit off, simply turn the key valve towards the off position. One of the pros of a match lit fire pit system is frankly, low cost. There's fewer parts involved with a setup like this and ultimately it's going to be a smaller investment for your project. A match lit system also has hardly any moving parts or electronics. This means that there are fewer parts that need to be replaced or maintained over time. You don't have to worry about running a power line to your fire pit as well. But there are some downsides to a match lit system. One would be the lack of safety backups. You see, unlike electronic ignition systems, there's no safety pilot flame or flame monitoring system installed. If a large gust of wind comes and blows your flame out, gas will continue to come out of your burner until you physically get up and go shut the gas off. Additionally, some local building codes may require that you have an electronic ignition system installed, especially for commercial installations. Another common ignition system is what we call a battery spark ignition. Fire pits with a battery spark ignition are set up very much like a matchlit system with the addition of a battery powered igniter probe and push button. To ignite a fire pit with a battery spark ignition, press and hold the included push button. The igniter probe will spark. Then turn your gas valve toward the on position. Gas will flow from the burner and ignite when it reaches the sparking igniter probe. This type of ignition system is great because you never have to worry about keeping a lighter around. A fire pit like this is always ready to fire up and enjoy. And like a matchlit system, this setup is also very affordable. There are some drawbacks and they're similar to that of a matchlit system. With one addition, replacement parts will be required over time. The battery needed to power your sparking igniter may need to be replaced, maybe once or twice a year, depending on how much you use it. And of course, your igniter probe may also need to be replaced after a period of continuous use. The last ignition type we'll discuss today are electronic ignition systems. One popular model is the all-weather electronic ignition system, or AWIS for short. This is one of our favorite ignitions here at Starfire Direct. Electronic ignitions are the cream of the crop when it comes to fire pit technology. To ignite an electronic ignition fire pit, all you have to do is flip the switch, press a button, turn the timer, or anything else that's wired to your fire pit to control it. We love electronic ignition fire pit systems here at Starfire Direct for a host of reasons. One reason is that they're easy to use. Electronic ignition fire pits can be connected to just about any electric switch. That includes timer switches, pool control systems, or home control systems. And with the right equipment, you can even control your fire pit with a smartphone or tablet. The biggest plus to having an electronic ignition system is the extra safety features that you get with it. Unlike the previous two systems we discussed, electronic ignition systems constantly monitor the flame in your fire pit. If the flames go out, the electronic ignition system recognizes this and will automatically shut off the gas immediately. And then it'll attempt to relight the fire pit if possible. The downside to a system like this ultimately boils down to one thing, and that's cost. Electronic ignitions are not cheap, especially when you compare it to a matchlit system or a battery spark igniter. Additionally, there are more moving parts with a system like this that may require replacement over time. Another drawback is that you'll need to run power to your fire pit location. Although some electronic ignition systems can be battery powered, most of them require a power line. All in all, we always recommend an electronic ignition system for your fire pit, since the safety features and the ease of use make it completely worth it. Well, hopefully this information helps you decide what ignition system to use for your gas fire pit. But if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact our technical support staff. And as always, everything you need to create your own custom fire pit project is available at starfiredirect.com. For Starfire Direct, I'm Lindsay. Thanks for watching.